We have Audrey Chirenje this morning with us. Good morning, lovely lady. Good morning, Marisa. Your hair looks fantastic, by the way. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now, Audrey, listen, we're talking about this book called A Portrait of M. Langeni. M. Langeni, Ndebele, what language is this? Ndebele. It's Ndebele. So yes. this is a Ndebele book or...? It's um, so the the author Sinom uh, Sanguenya. Yeah. She's uh, Ndebele, and she grew up in Matabele land. She's a town planner by profession, actually. A town planner. Town oh, planner, wow. and now she's an author. So this is a fourth book, and she just takes us through the the journey of uh, rural Matabele land, trying to merge it with the modern world. Mm -hmm. uh, so. so Take us through some of the story uh, themes in this book. I I know we were talking before we went on air that it's uh, there's rape issues in there. There's just cultural, a lot of traditional cultural beliefs in this book. Tell us more about that. Okay, so for starters, you've got the whole rain-making ceremony. Some of us, we've just heard about it, that it used to happen in the old days. But she takes us through the rain process. Rain-making. Rain-making. What is that? So this is whereby people will, you know, brew some uh, traditional beer, unkomboti, mm -hmm. and then they'll go and sort of place it and then do a ceremony trying to appeal to Msikawan for him to make to the rain the come. rains. Yes. Okay. So we've got that scene. And then there's also a mention of, uh, you know, the avenging spirit, Ngozi. Mm -hmm. We find that there's one boy in there, his father had killed someone. So now the Ngozi is supposedly on him. And he just goes around the village causing havoc. Right. So, uh, you know, Audrey, look, I, I, I for one have never really been uh, one to, to believe or to know or to be a part of that side of life. Uh, what's your take on it? I know you're a Christian and you know, is there conflict in that or is completely normal? I think for me, uh, you know, like just like in the Bible, you know, one of the commandments is thou shall not kill. Mm -hmm. So it's the same even principle. In, it's a principle. You right. can't kill people and get away with it. There are consequences to that mm -hmm. because even the same Bible talks about you actually reap what you sow. Yeah. So we see that. So I think, you know, the nuances which mix somewhere along the way. Uh, so it's never really black and white. Black and white, right. Yeah. So you know what? We, we understand that we must try and keep the Ubuntu side of our lives. Uh, what's your take on that? Definitely. I mean, like they say, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Gabantu, you have to keep that essence as a human being, as a person, as a culture, as a society. So that's why I found this book, at, at some stages, it was actually very disturbing and I was actually very emotional because cool. you find a father raping his own child, mm -hmm. Ketiwe, and is not even remorseful about it. And it's not the only rape victim that is in raped. the story. Yes, yes, he has raped a couple of other people. He, you know, the whole gender-based violence. And then he's reported to the village headman, goes to court. While in court, he's even fantasizing about raping the headman's wife. Wow, so he ha he's got a problem. Definitely a problem. <laughs> and then what's even more disturbing is when the case goes to court, he has to pay a $20 bail and he goes scot free. And he goes and rapes somebody else, obviously, because it's the chain. And this is something that we battle with in society as well. The fairness of how, how to treat people who, who do this, offenders in, 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 in our society. So we were talking about the ubuntu of life and stuff. And we, we look at the model way that we are living. Obviously, I, I, I'll take it closer to, your, to you, maybe say in your household. You see how we've modernized everything, our kids, we're raising our kids a really different way. What's your role in helping uh, the next generation preserve the ubuntu of what this book is portraying? Okay, so I've deliberately set out to, even if you find my kids, they have Shona names, and I call them, they might have English names, which is for school, but yeah. at home I call them by their Shona names. And I just believe we have to keep that essence. Even my children's books, I, I name them the Mufus, because I'm trying for us to get in touch with our roots, where we came from. They can't just imagine that, you know, they came from the world of Peppa Pig. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, <laughs> no you didn't. All right, no, that's very good, good on you. And uh, I'm sure other people are already doing the same thing. Now tell us about the publisher. Who published this book? So the publisher is Canelian uh, Heart Publishing. Her name is Samantha Vajure. She's a Zimbabwean right. from Mashingo, based in the UK. Okay. So we must really commend her because she's doing a whole lot of work with Zimbabwean artists. And we were just discussing earlier that we've got very few fiction writers and she's done an amazing job of 
publishing a lot of fiction. Of fiction. Yes, fiction oh. writers. Oh, that's very good. So where can we get this book, Audrey? This book is available on Amazon online and also Barnes and Nobles. And you can also get it from the author direct. Uh, okay. She's available on social media, all platforms. Titsi Nonsanguenya is yes. her name on all, all platforms. Yes. Okay. And how much is the book? The book is $20, and then on Amazon it's £15. Pounds. £15 pounds on Amazon yes. and $20 here locally. Yes, and also, oh, Book Fantastics, that mobile bookshop, they yeah. also have the book. Yeah. Oh, this is brilliant. I mean, the, the book actually really feels nice. It's like a fabric. Printed, <laughs> printed, printed in the UK. in the UK. This is a book to really get your hands on. Oh, I know Audrey's saying she's reading it, she hasn't even finished it, but it's really working on some uh, emotions and a lot of lessons and themes that we can really pick up to keep and preserve our Ubuntu-ness. Audrey Chirenje, thank you, ma'am, for coming through. Thank you, Marisa. Always, Always a pleasure. A pleasure, pleasure, pleasure discussing books with you. Well, there you have it. Get your hands on this book. Get your hands on what's happening, the fictitious stories, everything that is happening. Some of these are real-life events as well that really happen around us so it's really exciting.